Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Weasel, Arr, and we are playing Nelly Kutalot Part Four. It is yes, and I said I would continue as soon as I find something new. And there is something new because you remember the sun rising, yeah. Uh, now the rope is gone, and also it's the four-leaf clover which I wanted to get for my flag. So yeah, let's move up. Let's see what is awaiting us. Awaiting us at the top. What? Okay, so these are probably the, the oh these are the dignified ladies and this is Hortense. Okay, let's uh, a bed. Why is there a bed? Uh, I could go for a wee nap right now. No spoon beaks come first. Okay, uh, talk to her, him. Hello, I'm Nelly. I am Hortense Crocker, chairwoman of the Dignified Ladies Association of Meath. Uh, what's going on here? Today is a great day for the Dignified Ladies Association. We're going to circumnavigate the globe in 12 seconds. Really? The current record is four years, so we're very hopeful of breaking it. From the look of that contraption, I'll show you break something. I thought the DLA mostly did... What? Feeds and... Uh... I didn't get that. That was before we had the support of the Baron and the Baroness. They thought our resources might be better directed towards aeronautics and away from crotchet. So here we are, ready to make history. Uh, so what's the hold up? Be patient, dear. We're waiting for the pilot. Who? Angelo Lightfoot, a daredevil of whom we all are in awe. He's a dreamboat. Quite myrtle. Well, well, are you sure he's coming? Of course. We have a deal and Angelo will be paid handsomely. Uh, what's that contraption? That's a cutting edge of sky travel technology. It has been built solely by local housewives. I named it after myself. The Crocket Rocket. Have you considered an alternative name? Like what? Rocket's Folly? The Bone Mangler? Captain Stupid Row to Death? I don't like your tone, young lady. Uh, so why is it fish shaped? Good question. I took my inspiration from the natural world, the flying fish. Don't you reckon a bird shape would be better for a flying machine? We tried at first, but scales were easier to make than feathers. Uh, so what are the bed on stilts for? Ah, that's a very clever part. That's where the pilot shall land after he circles the earth. At uh, the last moment of the journey, the rocket will open its jaw and spit Angelo on to the safety of his carefully positioned bed. It's my bet. Hush, Myrtle. What will happen to the rocket itself? It will explode. Ah. Laters. Okay. Dignified ladies, talk to me. So. Hello, dear. Quiet, please, Myrtle. I am the spokeswoman, young lady. You may address all questions to me. Ooh. Well, uh, can I can I climb up the ladder? Any way I'm getting in that. Looks like it's a death trap. Okay. Well. Um. Pipe, pipe. No, can I do something with the pipe? I can walk to the pipe. That's jumping, isn't it? Okay. I can't unloosen that middle part with my bare hands. Uh, do I have something to do it with? I don't know. Mm, maybe I can use the heavy rock. Clunk. I think I got the middle part a little bit loose. Okay, now I can uh, use my hands. I don't know why I would do that to the pipe. I really don't. I can't. Damn it. Let's clank it again. Just just for funsies. <laughs> Nelly Kudalu destroy off metal pipes. And now that I got the pipe, what you do? Uh, if I had long tentacle arms, I could reach into the rocket and get the glove compartment. Though with the tangled arms, I would have a little need for gloves. Okay, put the cat in there. Uh, I don't know, maybe I can do something. Ooh, ooh, I can use the cat on her? How? Okay, Trilby. If you want to get that clover out of the dog... Oh, the dog has a clover! I didn't see it. That, That's helpful. Go, have at him. Now's your chance. I think my stealthy moggy is too timid for the job. Oh, I know just what you do. Okay then, let's try this. I got me a fierce cat burglar. Fierce cat burglar. Attack the dog. <laughs> 
He did it. Good lord. What on earth was that? A uh, seagull? The monster attacked my little Morris. They get quite big out here. It took his lucky four leaf clover. Well, it can't have been very lucky. That's true. That's true. Sorry. Forgot something. Okay, now that I got the four leaf clover, I still need. I uh, still. Oh, sorry. I. Sh I still have no idea what to do, honestly. <sighs> okay, you know what? Let's talk to her. Let's talk to her. Maybe, maybe I missed something. I don't know. No. There's nothing. I cannot talk to these. Okay, now that I got a clover, what could I... Oh, wait, wait, I have an idea. Uh, what if I put on the mustache and uh, say I'm... I don't know why I would do that. that. That makes no sense. This wouldn't make great disguise, but I won't wear unless I need to. Yeah, I don't know why I would need that. Okay. So there's nothing I know about. Um... I have no idea how to progress here, guys. None at all. So, I now got a clover. Oh! Oh! An envelope! Oh! That's, that's lovely. That's helpful. It's an old address to the Dignified Ladies Association. Okay, let's read it. That's not how letters work. Oh, yeah, right. Beautiful woman of the GLA. I'm afraid I shan't be able to fly today as my feet have unexpectedly been set in concrete. A thousand apologies, Angelo Lightfoot. XXX. Looks like Angelo chicken out of the death flight. Interesting. So... I could fly that thing, but I don't want to, so... Um, so... Give it to them? I don't know. It would be a way to do. That would... But let me tell you something about the pirates. We're dishonest cutthroats by and large and we ain't postmen. It'll be more use to me if they don't know about the letter. Oh, that's, that's, that's probably true, but... Uh, hmm. I still don't know why I, why I opened up the pipe. No, no friggin' clue. None at all. Hmm. So... Hmm. That did not do anything. I mean, we explored that location, we got a full leaf clover. But I still have nothing for the eye hook. Okay, mm. let's get back to the stores, Market Street. So I need something. I need an eye hook. And I wish I could use. Wait. Wait, authenticity. I have the quill. Can I use the quill on the postcard? I am Bloodbeard's successor, so I guess this isn't too fraudulent. Oh! Oh, I put something on a postcard. I, I thought I needed ink for that. I thought I might be stuck, but no. Great, we're making progress, guys. More than I thought. Okay, good. Will you try me that measly eye hook for this authentic etching of the Dread Pirate Bloodbeard? Signed, I might add, by the man himself. Let us see. Amazing. We will certainly be trading you the eye hook for this etching, but not the wrist guard. Great. Oh, that's so great. Okay, now, I got an eye hook. Great. I probably can use the eye hook at the Hucka Duck challenge because, uh, as far as I remember it, it is magnetic. So, uh, wait. Give me the dalder. Give it to him. Yeah, give me another try. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, I don't, I don't care about the prizes. I need seven, right? Yes, yeah, seven. Okay, let's get seven. Okay. Take the hook. And put the eye hook on the hook. Great. Worked fine. Okay. One. Two. Whew. Okay. Three. What? Are you are you kidding me? Okay, I got a barreled cactus. I don't care about the cactus. Can I give it back? Um I don't have a dollar anymore. So I don't want this prize anymore. Can I play again? Alright, give it here. You'll have, you'll be the ruin of me. Hmm, okay, so yes, I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, 
Yeah, don't care about those. Seen those often enough. Okay. Uh, can I attach it directly? Maybe? No. Okay, I gotta take it. And attach it. Okay, gotta get all of them. Got it. 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 Seven. Okay, I need seven, right? Let's hope so. Okay. Give me that scarf. I don't I don't care about the rest. Why are there so many right now? Ooh. I'm 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 done, dude. I'm seriously done. Alright, darling. Grab that hook and yeah. Do I have to switch it back? Oh, okay, now that I used the regular one, I can't grab it anymore, and... Okay, now I see what they did there. You, uh, rainbow scarf, great! Now that I got the rainbow scarf and the four-leaf clover, I might be able to do that somehow. Um, let's have a look at it again. So, yeah, the... Oh, we need a pink flag, right. Right, where would I... Hmm. So maybe she knows where I could get pink clothing. Um, no. Okay, so where do I get a pink flag thingy? Where could I get that from, guys? Hmm. Where could I get that? Oh, I know. I have an idea. They might have something. They might have something. They might have something in store for me. I mean, they have all this stuff. Maybe they have flags. Flags, 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 flags. Flag, letter, towels, towels. <laughs> Maybe towels will do the trick. I'll steal some if I ever stay in a hotel. So I said to the countess. Oh, wait. Oh, that's different dialogue. Okay. <sighs> Give me a flag. Do you sell flags? Afraid the delivery didn't come in this morning. Why? Sea monster. A sea monster got a delivery boy? No, a sea monster was the delivery boy. What? They're notoriously unreliable, dear. The twit probably spent a day posing for a cartographer. Uh, where could I get a big, big pink flag? Once I saw the brightness hang out her pink bloomers, they make a fine old flag. <laughs> yeah, she got a big booty. You ain't really considering making a flag of the old birds and things, are you? Yes, I am. Okay. To look. Okay, so I now know that... Hmm. How could I get her underwear? Not that I really want to, but I need it, so... Baroness, give me your underwear! So I hear you wear big pink bloomers. Pants about the same size as a flag. Why have they gone out of style? I mean, how impertinent. I, sh I shan't stand here while you describe my other things. Well, sit down then. I beg your... Listen, Baroness, can I call you Ness? No. Listen, Ness, I wasn't going to say anything, but what is it? People have started to talk. Enormous pink pants went out of the last, out with the last ice age. They did? Oh, I knew it. It's only this damn boutique was still open, my nether would be clad in high fashion other things. Would you swap your old pants for new? Oh, in a flash, I need underwear that's cutting edge, daring and scandalous. Maybe I could find you some. You'd think I let you choose my clothes? You're wearing a seaweed crotchet and bird feathers. What? One... I have no idea what that meant. Still, if someone, not me, brought you a parrot cutting edge daring scandalous pants. Yes, you'd swipe your big old flag like pink ones. Instant. In an instant. What kind of knickers did you say you wanted? Edge cutting, daring and scandalous. Okay. To how... Is there something here I could use for that? Okay, why would I... I have no idea why I would do it. No, doesn't doesn't make sense. Okay, so where could I get underwear? Maybe I can... Maybe I can do that? Maybe she has underwear. Maybe she has underwear for me. She has no flags, but maybe she has... Do you sell underwear? 
If you're looking for a pirate getup, you should try next door. No, I need underwear, not just ordinary underwear. I need something cutting edge, daring, and scandalous. Say no more, it's time you was introduced to uh, Madame Leatherette's secret collection. <gasps> They're cutting edge, daring, and scandalous. I'm sure you'll agree. Okay. The saucy Sue. I'll take that. The saucy Sue. I'd like a saucy suit. Oh, I. It's not for me, it's for a friend. $150. Oh, I don't have that. Um, that's too bad. What could I do? I don't have that money. I don't have that money. Okay, where... Uh, where could I... Where could I get that kind of money? Hmm. She doesn't offer me anything to trade with. Um, I don't have anything worthy in here. I really wonder. I really do wonder. Maybe she can give me something. Nope. Hmm. What about the notice board? Yeah, it won't answer, I know. Let's have a look. I'm just curious. I have no idea. <sighs> Jimmy Rummy's shanty singing has been cancelled. Okay. Anyway. I wonder, I really do wonder what I could possibly do. So, maybe I could win the tombola. Oh, wait, I didn't see the plaque before. What? Whitebeard Tower is a family home of the island's baron. In one's house, the finest library of the South Seas. Recently, Whitebeard Tower has been modified in accordance with the visions of the baroness. It now sports a sauna and a spacious roof patio. Oh, that's lovely. So... A tombola, you say. Maybe I can win something. Let's talk to her. I want to win the tombola. Mm. Has Angelo arrived yet? Oh! Oh, okay. I, I unlocked that probably when I got the letter. Not yet, but he will be here soon. Maybe he's having second thoughts about flying in a rocket designed by a deranged half blind old biddy. How dare you? Angela Lightfoot is a gentleman. Such a gentleman. That's enough, Myrtle. Angelo will be here soon. You just watch. He'd be a fool to pass up his payment. Yes, what about his payment? He'll be rewarded with a substantial gift. Oh! With a... With a coupon for the store of Babylon. That's right. Substantial, of course. Store of Babylon, eh? What are you getting at for uh, stop wasting my time? What's Angelo like? He's marvelous. Full-bodied mustache. Mustache. Seductive Italian accent. It the works. And you're going to give him the gift. Fouché, yes. Voucher. But I cannot say that word. Coupon. That's right. Once he's circumnavigated the globe. Okay. So, put on the mustache. Oh wait, how, how, how do I do that? How do I do that again? Really wonder. Okay. Put it on! Methink is a brilliant disguise in order. Methink. Who's that handsome stranger? Why is Angela Lightfoot pil pilot extraordinaire? Okay. Uh, let's talk to her again as Angelo. Angelo, is that you? Si, si, it is. Uh... Oh, thank goodness. A horrible girl told us you weren't coming. A damn that the judge is a liar. I'm so glad you're here. I've had my hair done special like. Uh, it just seems I'm all beautiful each time we meet. We meet. This is the first time we've met in person. Yes. I hope our second meeting is not too far away. Angelo, you saucy devil. It is, as, it is as radiant as a thousand sunsets. Wouldn't that be blindingly bright? One after the other, not all at the same time. Oh, Angelo, you're a charmer. It glimmers like the golden mane of a lioness. Do lioness have manes? Don't away, yes. Oh, you. It cascades from your scalp like the milk from a coconut. Ah. A shaved coconut, of course. 
Angelo, you have such a way with words. It was always my dream to be a poet. Oh. Missed the Italian accent there. See, si, but as a young man, my father forbade it. He wanted me to join the family trade and be a... stunt pilot. And I never looked back. You regret nothing? No, I just don't look back. I've severely damaged my spine. <laughs> I must fly. I shall return in 12 seconds. A presto. So... Uh, okay... So... How would I do that? Hmm, interesting. Interesting, I have no idea how to do that. So I destroyed the pipe, but I... Hmm. Let's have a look at it. Looks dangerous, yes, look at the pipe. Pipe leading up to the chimney, it smashed the middle power up with the devastating, devastating force of a wild buccaneer. Hmm, if I blow it up some way... I have no idea, guys, I have... And again, I have no idea. Damn it. Guys, we will continue in the next video. I have no idea what to do right now. I'll just just, just try out random things and uh, until I find something. And, uh, oh, oh, I took off the mustache. Oh, okay, so every time I go there, I have to put on the mustache, I guess. Apparently. Anyway, uh, I see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. It really helps out a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you want to stay informed about new videos. Uh, and check out the Kickstarter page of Nelly Kudalu, the sequel. Looks really awesome, watch the trailer, and thanks again for watching, I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Arrgh.